हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अगेन हियर विथ माय न्यू वीडियो नेक्स्ट चैप्टर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एज वी नो वी वर डिस्कसिंग फ्रिक्शन टू कंटिन्यू दिस फ्रिक्शन टॉपिक अगेन वी आर हियर टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट फ्लूड फ्रिक्शन वॉट इज फ्लूड फ्रिक्शन फर्स्ट वॉट इज फ्लूड लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेस all are fluids because they can flow easily so they have a special type of friction so friction exerted by liquids is known as fluid friction liquids and gases are fluids because they can flow easily water and air are the most common liquids here we have taken water as a common liquid and air as a common gas and now we will see how water and air exerts pressure on the moving objects number 1 air it exerts frictional force air exerts frictional force on moving cars moving buses moving aeroplanes moving rockets flying boards etc all are moving through it so here frictional force exerted by air to all these are known as frictional force fluid frictional this force opposes the motion all these moving objects are opposed by the frictional force so this force opposes the motion of all these moving objects now second one is water water also exerts pressure pressure on the objects moving in water water exerts frictional force on the objects few objects you have taken here boats ships submarines etc which moves through it these are few things boats motor boats ships and some marines which move in water body so frictional force exerted by water to reduce its motion here is known as fluid friction friction exerted by water fluid on the whole there is a note this is important the frictional force exerted by fluids exerted by fluids means water or gases or air this is called drag so this combined air and water frictional force fluid frictional force is known as drag so now we will continue with drag it is clear the question is coming what is drag the frictional force exerted by liquids are known as drag now we will go through the magnitude of the drag this drag may be stronger or weaker it depends on some factors here we have taken four factors important four factors are there on which this drag or this fluid friction depends number 1 speed of the body speed of the body number 2 shape of the body you know shape uh, different shapes body have different shapes so here also you can see some uh, figure i have drawn all have different shapes so frictional force also depends on their shape size of the body all the bodies have different size according to size frictional force also changes now next is fourth one nature of the fluid nature of the fluid means all the fluids have different viscosity viscosity means liquidity all the different fluids uh, have different viscosity so these are the four factors on which this uh, fluid friction or drag depends number 
speed of the body number 2 shape of the body number 3 size of the body and number 4 nature of the fluid under bracket viscosity now how this all are connected with the drag number 1 speed is directly proportional to drag speed of the body is directly proportional to the drag high speed high drag high drag means high fluid friction number 2 shape is also directly proportional to the drag shape big shape then big uh, more drag so shape is also directly proportional to the drag size of the body is also is inversely proportional to the drag size means suppose we have a streamlined body then a streamlined body has less friction and other body has high friction more friction so size means either streamlined body or other than this so streamlined body is inversely proportional that's why all these have given a streamlined body here i have drawn some figures here number 4 viscosity is directly proportional to the drag viscosity means liquidity if the liquid is having more flowing more viscosity then it is directly proportional to the drag then high friction will appear after this whole here i have drawn few figures all these are based on fluid friction to reduce the fluid friction to reduce the drag special shapes are given that is known streamline body first thing you can there is a boat water boat it has a special shape streamlined shape the front part is narrow and other part is wide here you can see the car the front part is narrow you can see the aeroplane the front part and its body is shape is just like the flying boats so it is also having streamlined body to reduce the friction and this shape you can see this is a shape it is also having a streamline body to reduce the friction so these are the streamline body figure you have to draw and this fluid friction is important one the question is coming what is fluid friction what is drag and uh, factors affecting drag and some streamline body what is streamline body and some figures required and some examples required example you can write a uh, water boat car aeroplane ships submarines rocket all these are having a streamlined body so you can write the answers by your own no problem and go through one more time fluid friction liquids and gases are fluids the friction exerted by this liquid and gases is known as fluid friction fluid friction actually contains air and water friction exerted by air friction exerted by water and what is drag i have written already magnitude of drag how will find the magnitude of drag by these four factors already written here go through and draw the figure all these things you have to note down in your physics copy it is essential along with the drawing drawing is also clear because if you will not note down all these things in your physics copy then how you will get your copy marks you know there is a copy marks five marks for each periodic test one and periodic test two so both the periodic test it is required to note down all the things in your physics copy is it correct again we will continue the same thing till then goodbye and note down all these things take your time thank you